Hi, this is John with RaisingQuail.net. Today I'm going to show you how to build a simple, inexpensive feeder for your quail. Uh, originally, when I first started raising quail, I was using these pretty standard poultry feeders, and I found that uh, the birds would get into this thing and throw feed everywhere and waste tons and tons of feed. Uh, of course, feed costs money. I don't like to waste money, so uh, this is what I came up with. What you'll need for this project is some 3 inch PVC pipe. Get some uh, 3 inch knockout test caps like this. Any store that sells PVC pipe should have these knockout test caps. They're super cheap, they're less than a dollar each. Regular end caps for PVC pipe will work fine too, but uh, they are a few dollars each, so save yourself a few bucks, get these test caps. You'll need a 2 inch hole saw, some short screws. These are inch and a quarter. I used furring strip, any small uh, scrap wood will work just fine, and of course duct tape. So I have everything cut and drilled already. I didn't think I need to show you how to cut wood or drill holes. So what you're going to do is take your PVC pipe, mark out where you want your holes, about a half inch gap in between or so, and take your hole saw and drill out all your holes. Now you'll find that the edges of these holes uh, when you're done drilling are pretty darn sharp so I took some coarse grit sandpaper went over these a few times just rounded off the edges so the birds don't cut their feet or hurt themselves then take your test cap and your furring strip and cut your furring strip about the same width as that test cap I have some built right here so I'll show you what they look like just like that Take your short screws, drill from the inside of the test cap into the wood to secure it in place. And uh, these go on the ends of the feeder like this to prevent the feeder from rolling around inside the cage. Now uh, when I originally built this I, I uh, glued these end caps on here and then I realized you know if I need to get in here and clean these things that's going to be kind of a hassle so now I use duct tape. Put a little piece of duct tape on there, just enough to hold it in place. These birds aren't going to tear these feeders apart. And that's it. They want to angle these holes up on a pretty steep angle, kind of like that, so that the birds have to reach in to get to the feed. And what that does is it prevents them from throwing it around so much. They can't get their head in there and kind of play around and toss it everywhere. So I have almost no waste now with these feeders. They work great. Um, what you want to do is you want to fill these feeders up about halfway, maybe a little bit below the edge of the hole, so that uh, if, it, if you fill it up too much, they are going to be able to throw some around. But this prevents me from, uh, you know, I was filling up these feeders twice a day, and uh, with this, I fill it up, put a bunch of feed in there, and it's good for a couple days. So saves on a little work. Um, so hey, good luck with your project. If you have any questions, uh, leave comments below. Thanks for watching.